with WWE going into their biggest pay-per-view of the year, WrestleMania, you expect the big names and the star power to be in drawing matches. And sadly, over 2015, and now going into early 2016, the WWE have had the bad luck of wrestlers getting injured. And the recent ones are John Cena, the guy who recently came back in time for the Rumble and WrestleMania, is now out for shoulder injury, which could mean he'll be missing WrestleMania. And then there was Sasha Banks, a huge fan favourite who could have had the biggest possibility of going to WrestleMania and being a part of a Divas match, Divas tournament, or whatever she was going to be in. And we all know that 2015 had its good, bad, and ugly points. Some people say it was an awful year for the WWE, and they needed 2016 to get a bigger and better ball rolling. And this... This is a sad start, and I'm hoping, even though I'm not a John Cena fan, that he recovers well and does make a return to fulfil a storyline to get him back into the game, as well as the other wrestlers who sadly may or are missing WrestleMania. But with these injuries that have taken place, you could say it's a time to give a push to the smaller, younger, newer talent. But yes, it's possibly going to mean giving them a push quickly just to get them um, built up or at least in a better spot ready for WrestleMania. But what else can the WWE do? Maybe there's going to be some exciting matches, exciting moments. Maybe... As we go further into 2016, these return wrestlers will be used to put over the wrestlers. The WWE have in a way been forced to push due to the injuries. You know, it, it, it's sad. It's sad because we've had Seth Rollins, who was the current WWE World Heavyweight Champion, We've had Randy Orton. Say what you want about Randy Orton. Oh, he's had everything for him now. He's getting boring. But he's still a big name. He's still a guy who you expect now to be in a place to put over talent. We've had Cesaro. Yes, he puts on great matches. But the WWE still don't really seem to be uh, capitalising. Capitalising on that to put him in a better place but he's still a fan favorite that was going to be a good wrestler to put in a good match going into wrestlemania then we've got daniel bryan which sadly it looks like his wwe wrestling career may be over but never say never maybe the wwe were going to keep it a secret a surprise and have him return unexpectedly to possibly continue his WWE career. We're not going to know. And then, like I've said, Sasha Banks and John Cena. But people, please share your thoughts on these injuries happening in 2015 and now early 2016, just before the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. Because... It's sad and left the WWE in a bit of a situation where things may have to change and change quickly. Until next time, YouTubers, thank you very much for watching this video and goodbye.